Etch-a-Sketch draws and writes like magic. Turn the knobs and the lines go up and down and all around. Who walks the stair without a care and makes the happiest sound? Bounce up and down just It's like the battle of all battles. Two iconic brands vying for the ultimate title. Favorite classic toy of all time. Slinky versus Etch-a-Sketch. After decades of light-hearted rivalry, the question is, which toy will reign supreme? Etch-a-Sketch is better. Slinkies are okay. Etch-a-Sketch. Slinky. Etch-a-Sketch. Slinky! Wouldn't it be great if we sort of tapped into that, that classic emotion that people have for these toys somehow? And, you know, nothing sort of brings the passion out like a good rivalry. So we decided to create one, and every day we give away a prize, an Etch-a-Sketch or a Slinky, and then at the end we're going to look at all the content, and we're going to judge which is the best Etch-a-Sketch video, and which is the best Slinky video, and each of those is going to get a cash prize as well. It's not about bashing the other guy. We don't want to say Slinky's bad. We don't want to say Etch-a-Sketch is bad. They're both wonderful. Win or lose, this friendly competition is also a chance to learn a little something about the inner you. I think actually I was looking at the Etch-a-Sketch website and I think they describe it very well. It's, it's someone who likes to express themselves artistically. A slinky person, yeah, I think that's someone who likes activity. They like things on the go, on the move. But it's possible that the same person might really like both the slinky and the Etch-a-Sketch. The Etch-a-Sketch will always reign supreme. Slinky is the best. Sorry, Etch-a-Sketch. Etch-a-Sketch celebrates gold this year. 50 years of bringing out the artistic side in the young and the young at heart. Its competitor, Slinky, celebrates 65 years of stretching and bending. Now, the two are facing off in cyberspace. Remember, you have until October 31st to vote for your favorite toy. I'm John Fawson reporting.